Well, it's not enough just to be a good person. Uh, first, you're probably not as good as you think you are. And we all look good from a distance, right? You just kind of don't commit the big sins. You don't murder. Uh, you don't steal. You don't commit adultery, perhaps. As long as you sort of stay at a distance, maybe you could think you're a good person. But if you really start looking uh, closely at your life, you're probably not quite as good as you think you are. So the people who live with you uh, could probably make a list of all sorts of ways that you're selfish, angry, jealous, deceitful. And if you add into that uh, all the things people can't see about you, the things that you think, uh, the things that you feel, the things that you do in private, well, in fact, the reality about you is that you're not that good. None of us are quite as good as we seem on the outside. But, but second, God is far more holy than we tend to think. Uh, God is perfect, and he hates sin. In fact, in the Bible, we see that anytime people get even close to a, a fraction of God's presence, they are terrified. That his holiness is, is awful to be around. Now, you and I could never uh, be holy enough to be in the presence of that kind of God just by our good deeds and good works. Even if you and I could be really, really good from this point on in our lives, uh, there's still a million things that you've done in the past uh, that disqualify you from being with God. And so, in fact, you need to be forgiven. You need to be made righteous. And that's what the Bible says has happened for those who put their trust in Christ. That, that he took all of our sin on himself at the cross, and he gives us all of his perfect righteousness uh, as, a, as a free gift. And so God looks on me, and he doesn't see how great I am, but he sees that I'm connected to Jesus by faith. And he sees that, that I have Jesus, and so Jesus is that great. He is that holy, and so I can be with him. But no amount of me trying hard and being good would ever make me fit to be in God's presence.